What is up guys, Need for Speed fan here with uh, the third part of a Need for Speed Underground Monte Carlo project featuring the handling differences with stage 2 upgrades this time. So it's the same drill as uh, in the other video. All stage 2 parts. And first we start with a drift. Still the starts are with a lot of wheel spin. And I screwed up in the first corner. How clever. What I did notice uh, while editing this uh, clip is that the angles in traction control off are a lot higher than traction control on. There is about a 10 degree difference. Not that it would help that much. The points are still lower than um, while driving the car with traction control on. The car is a little bit more controllable, but still in traction control off it's a bit unpredictable, at least in drifts. You can easily get up to 50,000 uh, points uh, with traction control on, with off, it depends, the speeds are uh, either too low or the angle is too high. Next up a drag race, this is slightly modified from the original version of Need for Speed Underground. Again, a bit more wheel spin with traction control off than on, but you can catch up pretty, pretty quickly with nitrous. Note that in this mod the nitrous uh, is uh, going up by uh, 2 points so uh, you can reach a lot of the higher speeds easily blowing the engine. Next up a quick circuit race. And here you will notice the biggest difference of them all.
except for the wheel spin. It's still present, it's still very noticeable, really hard to start off a line, around 7 to 10 seconds until you get rid of the wheel spin. But after that, uh, the differences are not so noticeable. In the OG version, the Mazda Miata with uh, Stage 2 upgrades is uh, the sweet spot for this car. It suits it very well, while having traction control on is much more pleasant. However, you will see that uh, with traction control off, it tends to have a bigger speed compared to traction control on. I'm not sure why is that, but uh, you will see at the finish line the fact that uh, you know, the race ends very close, around a one second difference, maybe two seconds, which is not uh, bad compared to the awful times of uh, the stage 1 upgrades. And now we have a short sprint with Toyota Celicas. Again poor poor start. And this might be the shocking part. Except the drafting that uh, is present now in the traction control off, you will see that the car is significantly faster, at least in this race, with traction control off. With stage 2 upgrades, the shortcut is not, does not have a bigger advantage compared to taking the normal route, so it's time right now to get rid of this. And you'll see that with the traction control off, look in the car, finish the race uh, with maybe 3 or 4 seconds difference. I'll keep this short right now, I'll see you again in the stage 3 upgrades. Until then, see you next time. Have a great day.